we caught up with our regular guests on Bet Radio, Phonic FM. Chris and Will came up from Exeter and they were on the show earlier today and we broadcast live. We hooked up with their live FM radio station, which is based in Exeter, and we did a show there. And I'm going to play that show live. So this went out just after 11 a.m. this morning in Exeter. And you can hear it all here. Stay with us. Loads more still to come this afternoon. It's Bet Radio here, live from Bet 2024. Don't go anywhere. Drop us a WhatsApp message or voice note to 078 600 26 400. Well, 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 it's time now to uh, go, and I do mean go, to where the boys are, because over there is a gentleman by the name of Russell Prue. Hello, Russell. Hello, JD. Welcome. Welcome to London, XL, in Docklands here. Hello, I've got a jingle for isn't you. It, isn't this amazing? This I'm sitting is here in Devon, Radio. and you're talking to me the other side of the world. <laughs> well, it's hardly the other. It's about three centimetres on a map, a very tightly. But honestly, it's fabulous. We yeah, look forward to your catching up with you every year. It's fabulous. And hello to the folks in Exeter. How are you all? Yes, I think we... Well, I actually live in Exmouth, but I, I do come over here once a week. Oh, well, that's um, nice. But it's great. It's actually a great part of the world, you know, because it's down here. It's very warm. If you come to the studio now, you'll see me in shorts. Hey. So. <laughs> it's been a little yes, too cold here in London. My trademark, I'm afraid. Oh, bless you. <laughs> well, you join us here live. It's day two of BET 2024. Oh, great. It's the so world's, what's been happening? Well, it's the world's biggest ed tech show. Uh, there are yeah. 500 exhibitors here, which is a, about the wow. usual number. And over the three days, 30,000 people will visit the show. It's big. Oh, gosh. It wow. is good. Well, and there's lots of it. We is, had, uh, uh, can yeah. you get your mind around that? Uh, no. You know, 30,000 well, people. It's a challenge for Will, like to be match. perfectly honest. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a challenge yeah. for Will for years, but he manages. He does. Yeah. And I've got Will and I've got Chris here. Who visit? Uh, yes, I'm, I've just hello. Been talk, just been talking to them. Yeah, hello, Will, Chris. Good morning. I've just been talking to you earlier, haven't I? So yeah. I do know you're there. <laughs> uh, and it He's is got... good. And, and they visit. They visit my studio every. I've been broadcasting, and this is my 39th bet. Uh, yes, and... I, I've uh, I read that on Facebook, and I was absolutely fabulous, mate. Wow. You must feel old. <laughs> I, I am old. It's my 60th year, so I look forward to a card from you, JD. I think. Some, okay, no, nothing well, too garish. Would you some... like it? I'll see if I can find a very big one. <laughs> Just for the eyesight. You're really kind. Uh, so it's about celebrating. The whole event is about celebra- celebrating our IT and education. So typical visitor profile is an educator who comes yeah. to look for something new and inspiring for his or her classroom. Um, the other right. folk come, the uh, Secretary of State for Education uh, comes uh, yeah. to deliver her speech. I'm sure that's a nicely polished and very well rehearsed uh, rhetoric based uh, speech. Uh, that was yesterday. We had Louis Theroux, who was here interviewing Loyal Karner, who's a, a rap artist, I'm reliably insured. Uh, I don't play his music on my channel for some obvious reasons, but he was very popular, <laughs> very popular with the audience. But is that a bit, bit, bit young for you, is it? Oh, well, it's not in it. It's the vocabulary. It's just no, oh, it, it's right. not oh, suitable yes, yes. for mixed company, if you yes. understand my meaning, really. So, yes, no, uh, no swearing. No, no yes, not on I, my I channel. That, yes, I've been broadcasting for years. I know. And that's... Especially no. on hospital radio. Yeah, well, indeed, yes, <laughs> I know. That. People don't want to hear it, so bless them. So he was very popular speech. We have um, uh, tomorrow's very good, Floella Benjamin. Uh, Baroness Benjamin mm-hmm. is here tomorrow, and I'm hoping to get her on my show. I do a live uh, broadcast on my radio channel at 2 o'clock each day of the show. Mm-hmm. And this year we've added video. I've never had video on um, on my channel before, so that's been an added complication, but really fun. Yesterday's show was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Right. I'd like to see that. Is that going up on Facebook? It or is. Well, somewhere? it's a bit big on Facebook, and of course I've got copyright music in it, so it's actually hosted on my learnradio.net website, which is my educational broadcasting arm of my business. So learnradio.net, if you head there and click on Bet yes. Radio, you'll be able to watch 
and listen separately as a podcast um, to yesterday's show, which was about two hours we managed to, and only a third of that was pre-recorded. Uh, two thirds oh, is, is just stitched live. We, you know, people Great. see us. We people drop in. Uh, they want to talk to us. They they come along, and we we stick them live on on the show. It's it's a little f- uh, flying by the seat of your pants, JD. It's a little scary in places, <laughs> but honestly, oh, that's, that's getting a bit close. I think. Well, uh, you know, you can always go to a music. I only managed to play one music track, Sister Sledge. That'll that'll be right up your street, actually. We are family. Sister I played Sledge that yesterday. Oh, yeah. I know it's you. We know I, your taste. I will prefer Shack Attack myself well, because I can get yes. up and do my thing. Down, oh, down on the streets is another favourite of mine. Do like yeah, on the street, yeah, on the streets, absolutely. We, yeah, we can do, I've got vinyl on the uh, on the studio uh, tabletop as well. Um, I've got really? Kylie's local, uh, her latest uh, Tension album, which is just stunning. It's, I've got it in pink vinyl, and that's causing a lot of interest because, of course, you, it, it's now quite possible to, to to meet an early careers teacher who who hasn't seen vinyl. Has what? never seen yeah, vinyl in their life. No, uh, and that no, that's is, right. uh, and they're spinning that's on right. a deck. It's just bizarre to the them. The DJs of today don't know, you know, how to actually cue up things, you nope. know, because it's all push buttons. Indeed, you know? it I, is. I can, I can still do turntables, no problem. So I'm... you can see it's how you brought up. Indeed, it is. So there's a slip mat on there. They won't know what that is either. And I've got a new mark deck. Other decks, of course, are available, but it's got auto reverse on it, so it will auto cue uh, a song up. I just have to kind of aim it for the gap, and it will go backwards and forwards. It's it's cute stuff. I've paired that with a a, a new mark digital uh, console with uh, you know the, the digital kind of mixing with uh, the cross fader and everything in there, a double deck there, and that's attracting a little bit of attention. But it's it's all about the conversation. The show is about shaping the conversation for classroom. Uh, practice. I'm here, of course, talking about school radio and how that impacts on speech and language in the classroom and how children can get their heads around talking and confidence with language. Uh, and that works really, really well for me. So I, I do believe that you, you should really practice what you preach. And if I'm here saying, hey, guys, get into radio, it really <laughs> is good. No one cares what you look like. Uh, and in this our classrooms, the, yeah, it's, it, that's good, Jamie. Yeah. This is what I've missed of being at school, you know. You know, having this opportunity to do something like radio mm. or television or whatever, mm. that wasn't in our curriculum nope. at all. No, nope. and it still isn't. It still isn't, JD. This is, um, I have, I'm, no. I'm starting this year with 388 schools with one of my radio stations. There's, uh, Gosh, that's there's a lot. tens of thousands, well, it's not, not nearly enough, but it's a start in, in, in the grand scheme yeah. of things. And, and, and radio is still very, very now because yeah. uh, you don't need parental consent to put a child's no. voice on air. You do no. if it's their no. image. And so that means you can't include everyone in the class. If you've got children, you've got absent parents, for example, you've got children with protection orders in an average class. And so you yes. can't you can't identify that child. That means they can't participate in a video activity, but they can no. in radio. Well, the, sk- the skill comes from them actually learning and doing it. Themselves. Absolutely, not just about yes. playing music. No, it's it's not, not about no, not at know, all. It's about conversation. You can sit in front of a desk like I am now, and this is brand new to me. This desk. Oh yes. So it's the first time I've ever operated it. But uh, I'll get the sledgehammer out in a minute. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Chris no, does not want do you that, to do that. Chris. Apparently, you've waited some years for this desk, and has, has this, yeah. that, that's transformed your broadcasting capacity, has it? Um, yes, I, well, I think it's a skill, really. If I can operate this desk, with, you know, this is the first time I've operated it. I've seen Chris and, uh, and Will operate it as well. Yeah. But to actually sit behind it and do it, that's a skill, wow. you know? If you can't do that, then you shouldn't be a broadcaster. No, absolutely. It's all about the process, and that's really good. And let's yes, bring let's yes. bring uh, Will into the conversation, because this is his second day yep. at the show. He's had a good mooch round. Uh, yes. Will, uh, tell your <laughs> listeners and my listeners, well, uh, what, what, what have you found at the show, Will? Well, I've found for the very first time, I went to the Google stand and said, what's going on with YouTube? And they said, there is something going on with YouTube. Normally, they don't say much about YouTube. Ah. But, but there is a new feature called Q&A. 
which is either available or is going to launch soon and teachers can add questions to a video no yes they will display on the screen that will check out whether the video has been watched and understood and later this year wow. artificial intelligence will work out the questions that's amazing that's a development that's a good development will that's oh well i didn't know that well done and can i just say the other thing sure um the other thing they're working on is a, a complete interface which has got no advertising and no suggestions of the next video to watch that you sometimes get on YouTube. But wow. the, the teacher will just control completely which videos are watched. So I think that, that goes quite a long way to making YouTube acceptable. In, in an educational setting, absolutely. That's a good find, Will, because of course YouTube's algorithms, everything in the background there, is all about holding you on YouTube so you can have the advertising revenue that funds their pockets. So that's interesting. That's really good find as well. Uh, what about you, Chris? Have you found anything you've um, you've liked the look of so far? Um, I I came up on my own yesterday, um, and oh well, I like the intelligent dog. Oh yes, <laughs> the dancing dog. It's down there somewhere which is yeah. really yeah. good radio yeah it's towards <laughs> the arena yeah. it, it's behind our stand we've had it actually on our video broadcast because we we've been video broadcasting as I, I, i've mentioned and there's this uh, robotic dog i mean it's very good i mean advantages are i suppose uh, less dog food and therefore less uh, less cleaning up shall we say that you have to do i'm not quite sure how it fits in a learning context. Oh, well, Russell, we, we did discover this yesterday. Oh, share. Do share, Will. We, we went back to the stand. The thing is that the dog is learning all the time. It doesn't always stand on its hind legs unless it likes you. So it's analysing what you're doing and it's got a, a programme behind it. Of course. And it will eventually, when it really gets to know you, explain the programming. Okay. I think you have to go to a screen to fully understand this, but I, I know it, it speaks in Python. Okay. And it will show you the Python code that determines its every action. And there's not many can dogs you, that do that. Can you can you bring one of those back? <laughs> and then perhaps they would do the program for us, and we can go off and have coffee. Well, so do we? We'll ask them about. We, we'll ask them to visit Exeter. That would, be, yeah. that would be the thing. I, I don't think they'll know where Exeter is. Uh, by the It's a of very this. intelligent dog. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case, Will, but I, I'm, as someone who's learning programming, I could be interested in that. But, but, you know, this is a show for educators to find stuff for their classrooms. I'm not sure how that really fits into the grand scheme of things. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Did you get the price from him? Did you ask him how much? Uh, <laughs> no. no, because I didn't want to find. <laughs> no, it's it, a small car. I think you could buy a family hatch. Yeah. <laughs> well, pr all but, right. We'll, but JT, we will ask them to visit. We'll ask them to come yes, down to Exeter for a couple I, yes, of days. I, I'd like it to come to the studio and see if we can do a program. Right. And then uh, treat, treat me to a nice uh, latte afterwards. That would be brilliant. That yep. sounds a good scheme. Did you get my photo, JD? I did, yes. I got uh, your photo. Okay. Well, so, yes, we, I did we, respond to it. We, we, yes, we, we were communicating through the phone, so... <laughs> so we, we, ha well. we, we have it's sent working. a photo of the dog. Yeah. But, Russell, shall I tell you another thing that, that I found? Do, do please. And that's, which Chris and I both, both saw yesterday, is Im immersive reading from Microsoft. Wow. Tell me more. Well, they they have this as, as a, an, an access feature, but I think it could work for a lot of people. So it takes any any text, and it loses the background, all the all the graphics, and then displays it in any font, any size, and it analyzes which are the verbs, which are the nouns, and it puts those in a different colour. Wow. So I think it's it's going to aid understanding considerably amazing and that's 
going to be in most of their products. So I think it will be available in a web browser and a word processor wow. and other things. They said it was already in Microsoft Edge. Oh, okay. Wow, so. as, a, as a reader, as a screen reader. As a screen uh, reader. It's good, it's good development. Good, well done. And it's all about that, uh, JD. It's all about discovering and learning stuff that can have an impact for you, particularly if you're an educator as well. It's just been fascinating. Really enjoyed meeting with you. And thanks very much for having yes, us on your great. show. It's been really good. Thank yes. you. Uh, that's no problem. It always happens every year. I was listening to last year's program and I said, I look forward to the next one. Oh, bless you, sir. Thank you so much indeed. It's lovely being live. I've just got another jingle for you as well because this year we're the official broadcaster and I'll sign off with that. So until next time, oh, thank you very much. Great. It's goodbye from Chris and it's goodbye from Will. It's goodbye from me here in London. Here's our final jingle. Bet Radio, the official broadcaster of Bet 2024. Wow. JD, thanks for having us. How good was thank that list of viewers? My goodness, the people in Exeter must be wondering what earth is going on here in London. That's community radio at its very best. 